saying that now is the time to turn to him and now it's the time because the grace period is now but that grace period is going to be almost up that grace period is going to come to an end because the word of god must be fulfilled the god does not wish that anyone should perish but that all should come to repentance and acknowledge of the truth that is the gospel of jesus christ because the gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. Amen. You like that? Yes. You believe it to be true? I believe in the word of God. And I believe 100% that it is true. And I believe in the testimony of Jesus Christ. Because it is the truth. The testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ is the truth. Tell it, girl. <laughs> Tell it like it is. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, so for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. That light is Jesus Christ. He is the light that has come into the world. And he is the light of the world. Can I remind you something? When he says not to condemn, he means it. He means it. Because what he means by that is if you condemn, you shall be forsaken to hell as well. Because if you condemn anyone at any time, Jesus forgave those who killed him. So don't think twice about it. Just, just, just listen. Just listen. Jesus said, "Not to condemn. He meant not to do it because listen, that's what the world does, not what Jesus does." Okay, but what does it say then? I don't give a flying fuck what it says. But the word of God. This is the word of God. Not, I am the I'm word not of God. Anything. I'm I know God as my personal fucking savior. So why are you talking like that? Because I cuss him. He knows me. Okay, but what am I reading right now? What I'm telling you. You just condemned them. At that very instant, you have failed again from what Jesus is trying to tell you. Well, why? Jesus I spoke in parables. Words. He spoke with understanding. What, what is this? Even when, even when people try to say that a lady was a looker or look at the way those people's clothes are, you don't think Jesus stood there and said, don't, don't worry about what, what them people are wearing? Or did he say, throw the first stone? Be easy with your words. Well, look. Look. And this is the condemnation. That's what it says. I'm not making that up. That's what it says. This is the word of God. I'm only reading. So, are you creating condemnation? No, I'm reading the word. Well, I'm not condemning anybody. I'm no, not going to do it. You see, because I say it's the not word, my business to it, condemn people. Okay, it says the word. I mean, it's I not my business word. to judge people. Okay, but because I say and the word. And that's basically what Jesus was saying. Right. But because I say the word doesn't mean I use it to that, to that perspective. I'm not using it for that perspective. I'm quoting what the word says. That's it. I'm only reading what the word says. That's it. I'm not saying anything. So I want to ask you this before I'm done. Just make sure that you do what you do from your heart and that you don't do it to make yourself feel any better than anybody or to condemn anybody. Listen, I, that way you're not doing it for the ego. No, no. I, you know what the ego is? Yeah. My ego has been, has been, listen, I ha, I'm of no one who has an ego. I have, you, you don't know my past. You don't know Ego is basically a, is a thought. It's thought. Right. What you're saying is true. But you see, the thing is that you have to tell them the truth. Because see, the thing is that God is the truth. Whether it's, whether it, you can't just say anything that sounds beautiful just because it's, it's right. No. You have to say what the word says. And God is telling them that the light is coming to the world. Jesus Christ. Right? What happens if you reject Jesus Christ? If, are, you, are they going to be The saved? whole thing is you don't reject anything. that 
All in spirit. Holy Spirit. Heaven is everything. Is everything. Is everything. But what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to read the scripture. Let me teach you. I'm going to know. Listen, when you believe that all is spirit, even a lazy man that drinks beer on the couch is spirit. Even a cigarette is spirit. Everything is spirit. Now you don't have to judge. Jesus Christ loves you, man. Don't forget that. Jesus Christ loves you. And don't forget, I am Jesus. Don't get upset. Of course, I see Jesus Christ loves you as well. Okay. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, that the world through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. That light is Jesus Christ. Because, uh, has come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light. Men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that does evil hates the light, neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he that does truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are done in God. So, if you love righteousness, if you love goodness, if you love peace, then you will come to the light. And that light is Jesus Christ. And now is the time to come to the light. Now is the time to come to the light of Jesus Christ. Because there isn't much time left. There isn't much time left. And so, what God wants you to do is that he wants you to turn away from wickedness. Now is the time to turn away from wickedness. To not continue living in sin, in maliciousness, and in wickedness. And to now live after righteousness and truth. To follow after God and his ways. And you're only going to know his ways because it's written in the scriptures. The only way you can do his ways and know his ways is by reading the word of God. You need to read the word of God now because the mercy of God is still here right now. But the thing is that the mercy of God is departing. The mercy of God is departing. Because the people are rejecting the Lord. The people are departing from God. They rather continue living in 